Hello everybody, I'm Jeff Phillips and welcome to this week's webisode. Every week I bring in a new business to help share tips and advice about their industry. And today I have Andy Critchman with Critchco Construction and Andy, welcome to the show. Thank you Jeff, good to be here. Yeah, so why don't you explain to everybody a little bit about yourself and what you do. Okay, sounds good. So I'm Andy with Critchco Construction and we build the finest custom homes, additions and renovations in the area. Uh, we run a, a full service construction company. So we do everything from investment property, and uh, inexpensive repairs right up to multi-million dollar custom homes on big tracts of land, 25, 50, 100 acres. Okay, very good. So when someone is uh, in search of, or I guess looking to uh, build a custom home, what are some things that they should look for in, in a builder? Oh, that's a great or, question, or, or Jeff. Or a remodeler. Yeah, um, building and remodeling go hand in hand these days. And a good builder remodeler will have great customer relations skills. It's really important how the builder goes about um, asking the right questions to figure out what someone is interested in. And uh, it's not such a cut and dry process. You really have to be a little bit of a detective, ask the right questions, pull things out of people. Sometimes people don't always know all the answers. By asking the right questions, you can help people think about what's really important to them and that way be able to turn out a product that works for them for years to come. Okay. So what, um, if, I, if I was looking for a custom builder, what are some things that I should look for that would maybe have me choose one over the Yeah, other? no, that makes sense. So um, the first thing is the builder should ask the right questions um, and then needs to listen to the answers and then needs to be able to regurgitate some problem-solving solutions uh, that help, that help um, fulfill the needs of what someone is trying to accomplish. Uh, and I think that if you, you pay attention um, when you're interviewing builders, you'll see some people do a better job of really trying to pay attention to what is important to a customer and how they solve their needs as opposed to put them into a cookie cutter house of this is what I do every time. And so some builders um, like to do the same thing over and over again and other people know how to adjust themselves to meet, to truly meet a customer's needs. Okay, so when I think of a custom builder, I think of high quality, craftsmanship, mm -hmm. And I know every, every builder probably has a specialty, and I know, also know there are certain awards that are won or can be won by builders. Can you explain, sure. um, as an, uh, an award winner yourself, uh, can you explain what some of the awards are? That yeah, no, that's a great question. Um, so uh, every year they'll give out uh, awards for the top 10 remodelers in the triangle. Um, there are certain builders that have never been on that list. There are certain builders that have been on that list uh, every one of the last five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years. So I think it's important in this industry to find someone that has a good track record. Anybody can come in and make a good show for a year or two, but those builders that have been around for a long time and have consistently been, been pleasing customers end up winning awards year after year after year. And that's a good sign that someone's a good solid builder. Uh, in addition, the local HBAs, the Durham R and Chatham Home Builder Association will give out awards every year for different types of projects. And that's a great resource. The Home Builder Association um, can help you to, to understand who the, the quality builders are. And um, that's a great place for people to look also in awards. Okay, so if somebody is looking to make a custom, uh, have a custom home built, I mean, what kind of time frame are they looking um, is this something that's done in six months, a year? Or what's the relationship between uh, yeah. you and the, and the person buying? So very often a customer will come to us before they have any sort of plans and sometimes before they even have land. And uh, that's a great time to meet a customer. We can help them to figure out uh, the right neighborhood, the right area for them to be in. Uh, we keep our ear to the ground and know um, what, what land is available, large tracks or, or in-town tracks. And uh, very often we know of existing houses that are in a real nice communities but need uh, a lot of repair or fix up. And sometimes we can help people buy houses very, very inexpensively and then um, put some money into them and, and have a brand new house when they get done, a whole house uh, renovation. So if people come to us early when they're first starting to think about the project, we can help them along. Um, we can put them in touch with a quality architect that will help them um, with, with their, their desires and we can help uh, put them in touch with the right piece of land and really build the whole package together. Uh, it doesn't cost any more money to do that and they might as well use our advice. I mean, we're, we're used to doing this. We do this all the time. We've been doing it for 22 years and uh, the, the sooner people come to me, the more that I can help them. 
Well, Andy, thank you for the information. I appreciate it. And uh, if anybody out there watching that would like more information on Andy and his company, check out his website at the end of this video. And if you want to continue this conversation online, please feel free by filling out the box below. That's all we have for this week. Until next time, take care.